mail it's not here so I don't have a book haul tonight um, as the shop is still closed um, for the Christmas break to give the volunteers a bit of time off uh, got up bright and early this morning got myself ready and off I went and no one was there so I thought that it was open <laughs> but it wasn't so I will at least it made me get out of bed early and get started on my day so so I thought I'd come on and just do a bit more for the challenge that Deb set me uh, the op shop challenge so I'll show you a few things that I have done I haven't even organized myself here to be honest I'm also on because the fires are doing my head in tonight and I needed to do something to take my mind off of it I'm sure I'm not the only one I'm sure we're all like that at the moment and I just can't imagine what it's like for the people that are affected by them um, you know physically and stuff so yes we've just had um, one breakout up the top of where we had the big one the other day rumors are it was deliberately lit which would make me very very angry um, one of them started on the road that one of my family members lives on so they've had to evacuate so now we've got to wait and see whether their house survives or not so it sort of gets on your nerves when you think that people have done this on purpose so I have been I know that we're allowed to use cardboard from packaging but I'm trying hard to make the most of the book pages because I do have way too many so I went through last night the books that I gutted and used the pages of them and what I did was just grab my glue stick and just stuck pages together and then pulled them out so that I ended up with some nice thick pages here which are great for um, cutting into tags so and I could do all different sizes of tags that way um, I also folded some over single pages folded them over and glued them these ones are a bit wrinkly so I cut them up and use them for something else so what I've done with those so far is made a whole lot of different tags and journaling cards here don't know what that's doing in there so yeah these are my tags so there's some of them like there was one gutted book that was really nice and thick so they're really good but the other one's a bit more flimsy but I will be backing them with some paper to write on as well which will make them thicker and I will collage on the top so I think they'll be fine so I've made some really big ones some smaller ones um, some more tags and then a whole lot of little like journaling card sizes that I can cut down if I want to or make them into tuck spots or whatever but I've also done two of these I don't know if they're Patricia Veramonte's um, like pockets where you've got the four tuck spots and then you can tuck behind as well but I'm going to sew up the sides of them and I'll probably ink them in that first as well so I've got those and then I've also cut out a few little banners so that I can maybe make some banner tucks for top page top of the page tuck spots so that's a start on that so I'll have to get into um, embellishing those I've also kept a whole lot of the scraps that I have cut off of the edges because I do have an idea to use those as well for something so it's heaps of fun trying to figure out what to do with all these book pages and I have seen also that um, at least one other person has already put videos up of their star as well which is really exciting and that's Megan so what I'm going to do is below this video I will link Megan's video of um, what she's doing as well it's really cool hers is going to be beautiful so it looks like she's doing a floral style so or botanical which is going to be awesome and it's just great to see other people getting involved there's been like yeah a whole heap of people saying that they're going to give it a go all right I'm a bit lost at the moment the other thing i have done is i found a because i thought i've got a whole lot of bird pictures but not much else so 
I have a few books that had uh, black and white um, native Australian plant pictures in them. I mean, I could use the colour ones, but I'm sort of going a more um, neutral tone, I think, on this this one. So I say that, but then I'm going to show you that I painted some of these and they're colourful. So, but. I'm practicing with my watercolours because I'm not very good at it at all. <laughs> but I think I'm getting better. I did go out of the lines a fair bit, but so I, I painted some of the pictures. So there's one there. It says white courier. Well, it's not a white courier anymore. I didn't read that first. Just thought I'll just paint them whatever colour I think. And then I did this little dusky coral piece. It's probably meant to be pink, but anyway, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I thought it's, a, it's, a, it's going to be a book on native birds, not about the plants, so but I thought it would be really cool to put some plant pictures with the birds on some of the journaling cards and pages that I make. So, so what I might do is actually rip around those, get that rustic edge going. If I don't like it, I can always fussy cut afterwards, but I reckon I'll rip around them so that they're ready to use. Take that out and this paper is really nice and thick too so I might even use some of it for collaging or painting um, for my pages. Yes yeah, so I'm just trying to keep busy because you feel useless because there's nothing you can do to help people that are going through all this stuff and then I see that um, Kangaroo Island in um, SA um, I think it's two thirds, three quarters of that is on emergency warning as well. It's, yeah, I really wouldn't like to be over there at the moment. It's just horrible. And New Zealand, I mean, New South Wales and Queensland copping it so much still. So I know that the fires have been going here for like two weeks now, two weeks today. So I can only imagine what it's like for these other states where it's been going, I think even for a month or something. I don't know how people can sleep at night. I'm just glad that um, my family member um, got out and um, that it was while they were up and at it because, you know, I check the fires every hour or two and, you know, it must have started real quick and moved to emergency warning where you can't, you know, it's not safe to leave anymore. So I'm glad that they noticed it and got out. you think it's at night time and you're in bed and stuff unless the fire is come knocking on your door yeah pretty well stuffed really just disgusting that we've got people that go around lighting these fires and that when it's like this bad already they need harsher penalties but anyway I will try get getting back to being my normal cheerful self so all right got those pictures it's a bit big that might be good on a page Probably need a bit of inking as well I think that one hangs like that See what bird pictures we've got ready. Did grab some out. I have to go through. I printed out a list of the birds that we have in like the local wetlands that have been spotted in local wetlands. We sh I should have all, not all these birds, but the ones I find in my backyard should be on this list as well. And I thought this would be cool. So when I'm looking through pictures, I'm trying to find birds that are on this list because I want to make it about the birds that are in the wetlands and that and then um, you know keep track of if I've seen them or not. Thought it would be a bit of a challenge for myself to try and get a photo of all the different birds sometime. So what I'm going to do is I wanted to do one journal on the water birds because there's so many birds I thought I'd do one on the water birds and then one on the um, other birds. Not water birds. <laughs> This parrot, got a cocky there. He probably look alright there. Sulfur crested he is. 
And these big pages, they'd probably be good just going in as pages or big tuck spots, I reckon. So I have no idea what I'm doing. What I might do, because it's really easy and mindless, is ink some of these so they're ready to put in. I'll just find my ink pad. So I hope you're all keeping safe. Your loved ones are all safe. So it's like been um, about 42 we had here today. So you can probably hear my fan going in the background. We're in for a change, um, which of course picks the winds up, which makes things a bit worse. But I'm hoping we're going to get a bit of rain tomorrow, which should make things a little better. Do them all I'm here and you can just watch me ink stuff because I can't get my head in here. <sighs> oh well. Such is life. But hey, I think it's good to do stuff, take your mind off of the stress and that sometimes and I know I'll be watching some videos late later to keep my mind off of stuff. So even if you're crafting along with me inking stuff, it's keeping your mind off of stuff. No point stressing over stuff that we can't do anything about right at this point in time, so. So I did these with the flimsier paper, so I'm not sure if they're going to work as a top tuck, but if they don't, it doesn't matter. I'll just stick them down completely because this is going to be my personal journal so I can stuff up as much as I like which is yeah, liberating Oops probably just going to stick like a few together like that decide whether I want to put anything on them and then stick them to like the top of a page and then see if they'll hold anything underneath so I just think I might actually stick a couple together let me just grab my paper stuff so cool seeing other people um, get involved in this and you know when you do start using a lot of digitals and um, scrapbook paper you sort of lose sight of the fact of um, what you can do with just your planer bits so it's nice to get back to basics sometimes even if it's forced upon you like it was for me thank you Deb I will get her back next month though, that's for sure. Now a few people are a bit scared of um, my challenge <laughs> with the junk mail. Well, I'm scared of it. <laughs> but hey, why not give it a go?
I still got to think of what else I'll allow everyone to use with their junk mail but I figure like if you get like a few envelopes in the mail to keep them um, I think I've got a stamp catalogue today um, just one of your post office ones it doesn't have too much good stuff in but it'll have a few nice pictures I reckon I should be able to use that so just whatever comes in your mail other than craft stuff if you've been buying online just because that come in your mail doesn't mean you can use it so don't get too cheeky now I should do one the other direction shouldn't I in case I want it a different way look at that big glue blub it's annoying when that happens you don't want to waste it but it's so much to put on there I'll just wipe it along there yeah. close my glue I just don't understand how that happens when you've got I've got like a centimetre or something in there how does it get up there <laughs> defies the laws of gravity that stuff And I mean, even if they're not like firm enough to hold stuff, I can always stick some more paper on the back to make them a little bit more solid. If not, they'll just be a really cool embellishment. I might be able to add some fabric or button or something, but I might keep this journal pretty flat and that. So, that's them done. Put them to the side. Now I've got to get some browned cotton into my machine but I might ink these while we're here as well just so that they're done because I'm famous at sticking things down or sewing them without inking them first even though I still might um, decorate them a bit but I will ink the edges so I apologise it's going to be a bit of a boring video of me inking <laughs> Never know, I might take pity on you and speed it up. We'll see. So I just eyeball these when I fold in them. Don't care if it's not perfect. Just wanted a lot of spaces to tuck in all my um journaling cards and tags and bird pictures mm, that's pretty good I've just um got my kit for um, this month's Lavender Blue design team project so that's going to be a heaps fun one I've been wanting to use this kit for a while so I'm hoping to print it out tomorrow when things are a bit cooler see if my printer works I had a few issues the other day so I hope it's not on its way out um, so I'll get that printed and then I'll be able to come on and show you the kit that I'm going to be using get started on that so I'll have three projects on the go as far as journals are concerned and then a few challenges that I need to do as well. I run a challenge in um, one of the Aussie groups that I'm in where we pick prompts um, to do little embellishments and that and then pick prompts for some of the things that we have to use for the embellishments. So this month we're doing altered paper clips so I'll have to do them sometime. pretty good for that one would be good to start doing some um, collaging or something I just wish I could get my head into gear I think it's just a bit of a shock to the system when you're going through all this stuff ah, what have we got here I think these are folded up I think, oh these are all book pages that I've kept that I can use 
that's something I can do too, is back a few journaling cards and tags. So, what have we got? A lot of stuff there. Some bits are quite white, aren't they? I don't know if I want them that white, but I'll ink them when I use them. So even pages like that can use that half to back a journaling card with, so I might do that for one or two of them and then they'll be ready to write on something mindless I can do. So, that one's quite thin. Let's just trip that down. Can use that for collaging. I did have a ruler here that I could use for ripping. I don't know what's happened to it though. Hmm. Shame. I can just use a normal ruler. Just don't want the edges too neat. If I rip it in half, that might be enough. No, maybe I won't. I talked about like that. Yeah, that'll do. probably hear the cricket. I've got one cricket out there. Jeez, it's noisy enough to be like a dozen of them. glue sticking that which I could but it doesn't always stay on I think I could sew around the edges of these as well but I won't be sewing around the edge of this bit that I'm writing on so it's all right to use this glue The idea is I can stick um, a collage it and stick one of the birds on and then like if I spot it I can write where and when or whatever any of that sort of information on there which would be cool fun. So I think I should try and get one done shouldn't I? Just not sure what I want to do at this point. Haven't really been able to grab enough pictures. It's a house sparrow. I don't know which one I wanted. It might have been the peregrine falcon. I think we have him. He hangs around a bit. I'm thinking what we could put him with. I haven't got all my materials out here yet. Have a look. I know we're allowed to use scraps of fabrics that we get from the op shop. Oh, this is fabric I wanted to look for too. I think this fabric will be great with the birds because it almost looks like tree branches. So I might make one with him. I was thinking, do I want to cut this stuff down? We want to keep his name. I try and rip him out, and I'll cut his name after. Although I might end up writing his name actually. I think we get the kestrels as well, so he might look good fussy cut, but it doesn't look too bad like that. 
head down here a bit. What else have we got? Got some of this. I'll have to pull out all the bits that are black and browns and stuff. Um, what we'll do is ink around him. Still arguing in my head whether I want to fussy cut him. And can see what it looks like. do have the name there what I'm thinking of doing and I bet you I don't even have I've got gel pens here so they're not I did ask if we could use uh, pens and markers and I was told yes because we generally have them around and we can use like paints and stuff um, I don't think of the color in them I'm not sure if I bought my other markers out yet more gel pens. I'd be annoyed with myself. I can go and get them in a minute anyway. Keep forgetting I can pause and edit. <laughs> so that's helpful. Um, and I do have my watercolours. And I tell you what, a bit of watercolour on here would be quite nice. Not that I'm any good at it, so it might not be nice, but it would be nice to add a bit of colour to it. So let's have a look. Some of the browns in that would go quite nicely with him. So how about we give it a go and see what, a, what sort of a mess we can make. I figure since we can't use all this pretty scrapbook paper and that you can add a whole lot of colour um, by paint and that sort of thing. So I have no idea what some of these colours even are. Let's have a look. That looks like a dark brown water on there. Now I do have a, my colourful cloth here. Let's get some more in there. A bit more water. Let's just get some brown down here. Make it nice and murky. goes a bit further than the inks and it's not as expensive I figure. Let's pull my, my ink camera just there. Sorry I'm on a bit of a weird angle too. Pull it up the sides a bit. Let that dry a bit. Where's my birdie? I almost want to do brown most of the way now. I might just take it up the edges a bit.
All right, looks like we'll do the whole lot brown and then we can always add some more color if we want after this lot's dried. or a book or something I'll flatten it down to right now I think we want it a bit dark down the bottom And no, I don't know how to paint whatsoever. You're welcome to have a laugh at me. <laughs> but no, I will say now I am not pretending I know what I'm doing because I don't. But I'm just having fun with it, eh? Where to start? I might like read up about it sometime, but otherwise I'm just having a bit of fun. I actually quite like that, surprisingly. Um, almost looks like ground. <laughs> I think that looks good actually. I'll just clean my brush off. Just, I don't know if we want a bit of green and stuff in there. I might, because there's a bit of green down the bottom. Let's get all artsy. Chrissy will be proud of me. Or embarrassed by me, one or the other. I don't know if I like that green very much. So, I might mix it a bit. Just clean that off. Grab some of this one. Yeah, that's better. Let's try and get a get a bit darker there. worse could be better and I might just do some middle figure if you muck it up you just like paint over it or throw it in the bin because it's only a book page and start again I'm just a bit heavy handed with it and the water flow is a bit annoying at times too well it's not too bad it's colourful now I might put some lighter green. Just add a bit of colour up here. Ah, oh, this is good therapy. Even if I'm making a disaster of it, it's still good therapy. Never realised how good our crafting was for the um, soul. Until I started doing all this stuff.
just lightly. Don't mind that, except for my silly grass attempt. <laughs> Could blend it in. <laughs> Might actually. <laughs> I'll have to practice. <laughs> Just make it look like a big mossy rock or something here. It's a bit of dark stuff to get in there. That's better. Better than having a plain, plain book page. And just let that dry. Now, I'll ink around it too. That'll bring it out nicely. The other thing I wanted to do, which I wanted my markers for, is if I can find my scrappy bits. What I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to pause it and find my markers. All right, so I'm back. I haven't found my markers yet, but I did find some watercolour pencils. And I'm just wondering if... I can do some little grassy bits with my watercolour pencils. They won't be good, because I'm no good at painting or drawing anything in particular, but... Just adds a little bit of texture to the green that I've got there. Seems to quite like that. I don't know if you can see it, but it does just add that little bit of texture, grassy texture that sort of goes with the um, grass that's there a bit. Must find these markers. I can find everything else. Ah, uh, still my head in. I <laughs> must get this place organised. But yes, because um, I do want to make some labels. I have like sort of done a um, rough copy to see what it'd be like. But I could do something like that and stick it on there and make a cool label. And you can even like cut the corners down, add some shape if you wanted to. Do it like that or something, you know. So I mean that doesn't look too bad, but I reckon it would be a lot nicer with my brown markers, especially the word. It's just a bit harsh for my liking. So what I might do is ink around this because it does need an inking now that the paint's dry. Definitely needs to be flattened a bit. egg on
usually I'd just do some um, lace or something like that. It's actually really nice just to colour it up a bit like this. Do something a bit different. I think he looks pretty cool. So yeah, I'll make a label. Now we've got the back that we can journal on. Once I stick him in the book, he'll flatten down a bit. I might even put him under a book. So I might leave it as that tonight and find my markers so tomorrow I can do the label and finish it off and then I'll show you. So I shall be on again in a day or two to continue on with this project. Take care everyone and stay safe. Look after each other. See you later.